you were at last. Oh, my God, what's wrong with you? He says infectious diseases. What the hell's that supposed to mean? For God's sake, Richard, what, what is it? What's happened? What's, what's wrong? What are you doing here? We thought, surprise, we, we turned up and then your neighbour, that woman downstairs, she said you were here. Oh, she would. Well, what, what's wrong? What is it? Look, it's really nice to see you, but I think we should all sit down and have a little chat. It's a bit complicated to explain. Well, evidently, it's so complicated, you chose not to tell us anything. Well, we now, said to them, we, we said, what, like what was this? They said infectious sense. diseases. So if that's not you tell us, too you, much you, you to ask. What, 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 what does that mean? Richard, what's wrong with you? I've got AIDS. I'm gay. I'm homosexual. I contracted HIV, and I'm sorry, but now it's AIDS. Where's your doctor? It's a Saturday. I don't think he's in. He's called Dr. Sullivan, but... I want to speak to a doctor. You really are very young. All of you. We should see your faces. <laughs> we thought Christmas. That's what we thought. He won't come home for Christmas, so, well, we'll surprise him in November. I've got presents. That's that's from Lucy. Uh, that is from Auntie Elaine. What on earth's been going on? I'm sorry. Have you got cancer or have you got AIDS? It's both. One causes the other. Well, it's infectious, isn't it, AIDS? It's completely infectious. It's, it's like smallpox. It's like leprosy and it kills you. That's what it does. So this isn't AIDS, is it? Then let us walk right in. So we can't be, can it? I want to say, and I'm not criticising Richie, I just think you should know, I told him to tell you a hundred times. You see, what you don't understand, boys are terrible, Jill. And someone like Richie, he's young and he's pretty and there'll be lots of those men paying him attention and so he goes rutting once in a while. But that doesn't make him homosexual. It's a little bit of fun. But then you grow up. Maybe some boys are like that. But then there's Richie, who's gay. Absolutely, definitely gay. He's beautifully gay. I'm sorry, but look at him. I mean, he's an actor. He sings songs from the musicals. He's never had a girlfriend. And now he's got a gay disease. Don't mind me. Sandra's got a son, Derek, down the corridor. This is Valerie. I'll be gone in a minute. Do you think I should have known? Maybe. Who's this? It's my son, Richie. You didn't know Richie was gay? <laughs> Excuse me, what do you mean? What the hell were you looking at? I beg your pardon. If you didn't know he was gay all those years, what did you see? When he was 11, when he was 15, 16. How old is he? 30? All 30 years and every little speck of him is bent as a nine bob note since the day he was born. I'll ask you again, love. What were you looking at? You his mother. You're supposed to think about him day and night. So what the fuck were you doing? How dare you? Get the door. I didn't know. It's because I was being lied to. All right, sweetheart, I'm done. Have I got this right? I'm being blamed for not knowing my son when, when you conspired and moved heaven and earth to lie to me. I wasn't lying. You sat there next to him in my house, time after time after time, with this, this great big elaborate lie. I told you, I said every time, I told you I wasn't his girlfriend. And then you sat there simpering, laughing at every word he said. Never mind about him having a boyfriend. Where the bloody hell is yours? I was doing what Richie wanted. That's what you are. A chorus girl running round after these boys with no life of your own. OK, but I don't really think this is about me. But I think this is absolutely about you. Because you stood in the way. You stood in the way. 
If I couldn't see him, it's because you stood in the way, you monstrous, big 